a blush, and I'm gonna go and use, go ahead and use red. Ooh. That was very graceful. Hello, and welcome back to Tucking It Up. My name is Tuck, and I like to play around with makeup. Occasionally, you'll get a glimpse into my geekier side when I start talking about video games and or the X-Men, but for today, we're going to focus solely on putting pigment uh, on my face. So recently, I got the Infinity Deep Palette from Linda Hallberg uh, Cosmetics. Uh, so this is not a new palette by any means, right? It came out, I think, like two years ago, but uh, it was about 60-70% off on the website, so I just I couldn't resist. Um, so let me show you what it is. It's, it's marketed as an all-over palette, so it's good for your, it's supposed to be good for your eyes, for your face, uh, for your body. And so what I'm going to do today is actually I'm going to try and do like my complete face minus my lips uh, using this palette. Um, yeah, so I, I love this, the, the colors in the, this palette. Um, I think they were really well chosen. Um, so I'm just, you know, I swatched them, but I've never tried them uh, like on my face. So let's see how that goes. For today's look, I'm going to go with uh, something that's going to be a little bit on the softer, more neutral side. I'm planning to film another video right after this one where I try on uh, lip products, and so I want the focus to be on the lips um, in that video. The second reason is I think, you know, given the colors and given the different shades in this uh, Infinity Deep palette, I could do kind of more of a dramatic, more of an intense, smoky sort of look, uh, but I, you know, I do that quite a bit. Um, and so let's, you know, again, let's challenge myself. Let's try and do something that's a little bit softer, uh, again, a little bit more neutral. I'm coming to you bare face today uh, because uh, the way I usually do my base is I'll start off by doing the contour, the bronze, the blusher, all of that first, and then put on the foundation over it, uh, especially if I'm going for a softer, more neutral look. So we are going to start off with uh, contour, and I think to contour today, uh, I'm going to use the shade Umbra primarily from the palette, so it's this one right over here. As you can see, it's sort of a cool toned, sort of medium brown. Uh, I think it will work quite well uh, on my skin tone. So let's, let's as, as with the uh, one of my previous video where I tried using some of Pat McGrath's you know, eyeshadows to, to do my face, what we're going to do is we're going to start off quite light uh, just to see how it turns out. So I, I thought I was doing quite lightly, but as you can see, it's all, it's quite pigmented. So I'm going to have to be uh, kind of careful on this. Yeah, this is definitely quite pigmented. Um, obviously, this is a lot stronger than you know than than maybe what you might. Uh, call a, a softer look, um, but we're going to blend it out and hopefully that will uh, change, that will save the day, if you will. Okay, so that's, that's contour done then. I think that, like I said, pretty, a little strong, but I think uh, it'll, it'll work out in the end. So the next step is I'm going to actually apply blush and highlighter. Uh, because there's not quite a shade here I think that would really work too well uh, as a bronzer on me. I'm going to apply highlighter first and then uh, put the blush on top of it. So for highlighter, I'm going to go into this, mix the shades actually. Primarily I'm going to use uh, Polar Star right here, which is kind of more of a bit of a champagne-y sort of tone, and a little bit of Solar, which is more of a yellow golden sort of thing. Okay, so I can definitely see uh, the highlight showing up on in my mirror. I uh, wonder if it is showing up on camera as well. Uh, it's a little, I think I might have tapped into solar a little hev too heavily. Um, it's a little uh, yellow, a little dark on my face right now, but let's try blending it out and see what happens. Highlight is down, uh, so now I'm gonna go over the highlighter, uh, most of the highlighted area as well, except for the bridge of my nose. Go ahead and use red. Ooh. That was very graceful. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade uh, Red Shift from the palette. I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm very clumsy, guys. Uh, so it's this kind of you know, red, reddish uh, shade right here. Um, and because it's kind of dark, and I think 
uh, especially, you know, especially as blush, um, if I put it on again really uh, intensely, it will look a bit clown facey. Um, so I'm going to go in with a very light hand. So I'm going to put it, tap, oh, there we go, put it on the back of my hand first, and then go in on the cheeks, right over where I did the highlighter earlier. Okay, you can see I went in a little intense. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We will buff it down. Well, it certainly looks like I got quite a bit of sun. Uh, I'm glad I didn't go in with another color or something for bronzing. Uh, no, I'm. It, it is intense, uh, but I think once we have the foundation over top of it, it'll really help tone everything down and unify the whole face. Before I go in with foundation, I'm going to do a little bit of spot concealing. I'm going to use um, my regular, which is the same uh, tip concealer. Uh, I'm just going to use the shade 1.5 today because I just want to cover up this blemish right here. But otherwise, I'm going to leave, I think, the rest of my face relatively uh, untouched with uh, concealer. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. I'm in the shade Golden Ivory. Uh, just, again, it's not going to be very, uh, cover very much. But it's just to even up the skin tone uh, and then tone down the contour and the blusher and the highlight. There. It's much, much more even now. The uh, contour, blush, they're much less obvious. Uh, and not so strong, so let's move on to the eyes. And for that, I'm going to zoom you right in. We're going to start the eyes with the eyebrows. In addition to my usual technique of going in with a cold pencil uh, uh, on, a, on an angled brush, I'm also going to use the shade Fornax, which is the black from, from the Infinity D palette, um, and uh, use that to kind of darken up uh, the, the tails of my eyebrows. To start off the eye look, I'm going to use the shade Lightyear as sort of my all-over shade slash transition color. I'm just going to take it on a fluffy, like this is called an angle shader brush, but just sort of just a fluffy brush to like apply it quite lightly as a wash. Hmm, quite happy with how the shade is performing so far. It went on really nicely. Uh, just evens out, of course, the, the skin, the color on my eyelids, and just gives me a little bit more depth. And now I'm going to go in with a crease slash blending brush, uh, the Wayne Goss number 19, just to diffuse the edges and actually intensify this a little bit more in my socket. Yeah, I'm very happy with the performance of this so far. It's just really nice and uh, very easy to blend, goes on uh, well, builds upon itself also without getting patchy, which sometimes can happen with some with some shadows. Um, yeah, to give a little bit more dimension and depth to this look, and uh, especially at the other corner, I'm going to go in with the shade Umbra. Uh, Umbra is this one right here, right? That that sort of uh, medium coolish brown, and that was the same shade that I used to contour. So I'm pretty happy with how uh, Umbra is performing on the eyes. I think it's buffing out a lot more easily. Um, and that's probably because, of course, there's like, you know, um, already light year on there to help with the blending and also uh, a little bit of the foundation uh, from early. Whereas when I used Umbra uh, as a contour, right, it, it went kind of straight onto bare skin. I actually didn't have a primer on. I used like my priming moisturizer from Good Molecules, which I do like. Um, but it's not, to my, in my opinion, it's not really uh, a primer if, you, if you're doing like heavier looks. But anyway, um, performance is good and so now I'm just going to go in and deepen uh, the shade even further, umbra even further with my Wayne Goss number 20 which is an even smaller crease slash blending brush. Now I'm going to work on the lower lash line. I'm just going to take uh, a pencil brush and then I'm going to do uh, mostly umbra uh, along the uh, outer corners and then uh, blend it with and then make do a mix of umbra and light ear as I get closer to the inner corner Oopsie 
see what I said about being a klutz. Now I'm going to buff out uh, the corner. I'm just going to use a clean uh, that Wayne got from the 19. I just cleaned off any color that was on it. And I'm just going to buff it out, make it a little softer. And as a final step for uh, the outer corner, I'm going to take uh, that pencil brush again and just put a little bit of Fornax with that black and just, just a tiny bit, just to give it a little, a little bit more shadow, a little bit more depth. Okay, so Fornax is getting a little bit out of control here, so I'm gonna stop using the pencil brush. Uh, I'm gonna go in with my n number 20 again uh, with uh, Umbra on it just to blend it out and soften it. Yeah, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know I tend to have more challenges with this eye than with uh, this one. Uh, it's partially because the the, the, sh the way my eyelids uh, are, it, they're different between the two eyes and it just makes uh, eyeshadow on this side a little bit more uh, of a challenge. So now I'm going to intensify the lower lash line just a little bit so it balances out uh, what's going on here uh, and I'm just going to use a little bit of Fornax right in the outer corner. So I took a quick break from filming to recharge my camera. I also noticed that the two sides weren't quite even, so I'm going to fix that uh, now. Uh, so the right, my right side, uh, I do need to add just a little bit more uh, darkness with uh, Umbra and Fornax and just bring it into uh, onto the lid a little bit more. Um, and then as a finishing touch, I'm going to take the shade uh, Mars right here. Uh, let me put it in line with my face so it's in focus. Um, which is this uh, kind of uh, kind of a little bit shimmery uh, red and put it all over my lid, just as a light wash. There we go. So based on my experience so far, I would say the mattes tend to have a bit more of a you know, punch when you when you put them down, uh, even with like a, a softer brush. Whereas I'm finding uh, like this uh, sort of shimmer shade, this Mars shade, um, it 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 goes on much softer. Um, so that's something to uh, I guess to keep in mind. And now for the uh, inner corner, I am going to go and use the shade uh, Polar Star, which I had used as part of my highlight earlier. It's the shade right here. As with Mars, I'm finding that Polar Star, uh, you know, on, on the cheeks it seemed to go on um, quite strongly. Um, maybe that's because, uh, you know, I ten generally tend to prefer a bit of a softer highlight. Um, for the inner corner, uh, it is going on more softly uh, than, than I think I'm used to for, for an inner corner shade, but that's fine. It, it is buildable, um, and since today's eye look is supposed to be a little bit softer, a little bit neutral, um, I think this is good. Alright, so let's go ahead and line the eyes. And I'm just going to do that off camera. Okay, I'm back. So, did the tight lining. I also, because I never use mascara, it just doesn't work on me. So instead, to kind of intensify uh, the lashes, I took uh, some of the Fornax that black eyeshadow and just pressed it into the root uh, of my lashes in addition uh, to, to tight lining. Um, overall, I'm quite happy with how this eye look turned out. Um, as you may have noticed, uh, I cut my hair. Uh, really sharp, uh, and I think I love the effect of you know it makes the, the the makeup much more intense because I guess there's no hair to like hide anything or uh, kind of distract your eye. All right, so as our last step, let's go in and work on the lips. For the lips today, I'm going to go in with something pretty neutral. Uh, it's going to be the shade Amatrine, uh, also from Linda Hallberg. Uh, it's quite sheer, it's kind of a purple, but um, because it's sheer and then my lips are already a little bit on the uh, purplier side, uh, it just basically evens out my lip color uh, and it looks almost like, you know, my lips but better, that kind of situation. So that's the finished look for today then. Let me give you a quick overview. So that's today's look. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of do a quick review of the palette. 
Um, I, I, I'm quite happy with how all of the different shades performed. Uh, I do think the metallic slash shimmer shades, uh, I was a little surprised that they didn't go on like stronger. Um, I, I guess I thought uh, just based on my experience with her Metallic Mysteries 2 palette, uh, they would go on uh, have, with a little bit more impact than they did. But at the same time, that doesn't mean these are bad shades at all. Um, I think if you probably use them wet, use them with your fingers, they're going to be quite, uh, quite intense, or they can be quite intense. And even with a dry brush, I felt like I, you know, could build them up quite a bit. And then in terms of the matte shades, I like that they were able to perform on the face pretty well. Next time, I'll, I will go in with an even lighter hand than I did today. Um, but but they, they look, I think they look pretty great under under my foundation. Uh, they also performed really well on the eyes. They were easy to blend out. Uh, the one complaint I have is that I find like Fornax for some reason, I had a little bit more difficult time controlling it compared to some of the other uh, black eyeshadows that I've used. Um, but overall, you know, I think this is a really really great palette. Um, and considering I only paid eleven dollars for it. Uh, the quality is just really astounding. So thank you again for joining me um, and if you'd like to see more looks like this or more content like this, uh, please subscribe, uh, tell all your friends I guess, uh, hit the like button, all that sort of thing. And until next time, bye!